Hello Vikings and welcome back to another Assassin's Creed Valhalla video. So the Night Road pack is now available in Helix Store. This is like the first Helix Store pack that I'm actually spending money on. And if you want to keep it that way, there is a join button below this video. And that would help the channel to keep doing what we are doing here as long as possible. But let's get back to the review. After getting the full pack, you should see two gear sets, one mount, one raven skin and two weapons to pop up. So let's start with the weapon. As a weapon, let's try the reaper side first, the batwing side. <laughs> that is looking really awesome. Also, we are starting with the Night Roach Ashen version of this gear piece. Don't worry, we are also testing the Crimson one, but that will come a little bit later. So just keep watching. The Ashen version of this gear will give you for the 2 set bonus, increased assassination damage when equipped. The 5 set bonus, enemies hit with the dive of the Valkyrie's ability, have their health reduced by 10%. And that is not all. I promise you, there is one cool little perk that Ubisoft don't tell us. On the side, there is also one cool feature that hasn't been mentioned like anywhere. So let's go into the test and... In my opinion, this set looks awesome. By the looks of the Ashen set, I would give it like 8 to 9 out of 10. The mask without the hood is actually dropping the points, but the wings are making up for it. As you see here, the wings are activated when you are doing the Dive of the Valkyrie. It has 10 second cooldown. After that, you can use the wings again. Here is a live demonstration, real time, no editing. No, nothing, about 10 seconds, and boom, wings are back again. Just look at that, you can actually play with saturation and tint in the photo mode, and let me know what kind of photos you are taking. It is time to take a look of Barkhest, awesome wolf-like mount, and Vampire Bat, the new raven skin. It is sad not to use the dragons, we just got them, but the bat is actually looking pretty cool, what do you think? It is huge. From the Vampire Bat or the Park Hest, which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, there are bat sounds. So, not like dragons, the bat is actual bat. And it is looking furious, at least in my opinion. So cool to fly around in nighttime with this huge, fierce creature. It's time. Dun, dun, dun to take a look of the Barkhest, the Hellhound, and yes, it is much bigger than the other wolves. It is almost size of the horses in this game, and look at these details. It is looking so awesome. I think this is actually my favorite mount at the moment. To be honest, the mount was one of the main reasons I wanted this, I bought this. There we go, from the bat and from the wolf, this one is my favorite. Okay, now it's even cooler. And look at those muscles. That wolf is jacked. Oh my goodness. But let's give the gear and the weapons a proper test. And look closely. When we are hitting the ground after doing the dive of the Valkyrie. Just wait, wait for it. It's coming. And here we go. So after hitting the ground. And yes, I don't know what we were doing. It did look like. We were sucking like life force out of the enemies, about 10% of their health went down and also what Ubisoft didn't tell, their stun bars, yeah, they were drained as well. For stronger enemies it is like one third and for the weaker enemies, well, I have seen on default settings the whole stun bar completely empty after the dive of the Valkyrie. That has never happened before and also on the side we have secret feature as well. The side, it has a pulse. If you look at it, it's like... <laughs> like beating hard. The perk of the Reaper is plus 15. Attack if you are hitting enemies with under 50% of their health. Of course, for the stunned enemies, it is always much, much higher. But let's take a look, let's make a special attack for this shield bearer. So 60, so 66, 67 and plus 90, plus 30 increased attack on our final hit. And yeah, I am pretty happy with that one. 
Just to be sure, let's test some more. We are still using just the side. First attack 98, second 65 and 98 on our last hit. 70, 60 and 80 damage for the second enemy and about the same for the last enemy as well. So little bit higher than usual, not much. As we all know, the perks or more like the stats on this game, they are not like highly cut diamonds. They are rough around the edges, but it's time to test out the crimson version of this set. So let's do it. With the crimson set, we are gonna use the blood fang, the medical sword sword, and our attack is increased after hitting enemy with over 50% of their health. So it is opposite from the side spurk. The side was below 50 and this is above 50. The 5 set bonus on the crimson set is exactly the same as it was for the ashen and the 2 set bonus is different. This time it's increased stealth damage when equipped as a 2 set bonus and it is plus 10 stealth damage for this one. And yes, for the 5 set bonus we are getting plus 10 attack, 10 second cooldown, 10 second duration. Set number 2, it is about to be tested. And of course you know it, we have to do Dive of the Valkyrie with this one as well. And oh, I just love that draining effect that happens after Dive of the Valkyries. Also if you are paying attention, after Dive of the Valkyries there will be smoke coming out of the armor. So that is a really fun little perk or cool little feature. Alright, let's hit the enemy behind. So around 50s, 40s, after that we are getting solid, 50s, 60s, 70s hits on the enemy after we have activated the perk. The perk is working, surprisingly. Soon after this test there is coming one more test and yes, we are gonna use both weapons so we should get the perk activated no matter if we, do, if we hit enemies with above or below the 50% health. So it's time to bring the reaper. At first we are gonna have the blood fang, the sword sword on the main hand and on the off hand we are gonna have the side, the reaper. So let's see what is gonna happen when we have both weapons on. Of course we are gonna test this in Gloucestershire. Plus you have already noticed hopefully that I really like the dive of the Valkyrie and the effect that this vampire set aka the night road set is giving us the training that is just cool as yeah you know what the mayhem is about to start we are having both weapons so we should get pretty pretty good attacks on this one so not 40s not 50s but something above that so let's see let's test and let me know what you think is this worth of your money So, with both weapons on, we are having pretty solid 60s, 70s, 80s damage on every enemy. So, overall, by the looks of everything, the sets, the weapons, the mounts, I am pretty happy to give this set solid 9 out of 10. Definitely, there would be better perks for this weapon, but the mounts, they are really cool. Also, I really like how this set have like tattoos embedded in them, or at least it is looking like the tattoos are on our arms. Also, you can customize this set a little bit more than, for example, Twilight or Shinobi armor sets. You can switch the weapons, you can have two pieces on, but in order to wings to show, you have to have all five pieces, just like with the Knight Isu set. So, if you are having only four, the wings, they won't come out. It's time for our last dive of the Valkyrie. Last wings, then we are checking the mount a little bit. Also, hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, you know what to do. Before rolling the outro, let's see the cinematic close-up with the mount. Thanks for watching, remember to hit the like, hit the sub, turn on the notifications so you won't ever miss anything that I upload or when I go live. Also Vikings, have fun, stay safe, be strong, hope to see you in the next one, Skatha, over and up, and bye bye.